The president has been waving the flag about election fraud. What concerns are, are valid? The conclusion of the op-ed was that Republicans have looked hard for fraud for four decades. But there's been scant evidence. It is absolutely correct to look for fraud and to try and root it out. What's not correct is the president of the United States drawing conclusions that elections are fraudulent or rigged without having the evidence. A foundational basis of our country is the credibility of election results. This time, for the first time, the president of the United States is denigrating the credibility of our elections and who the winners are, corroding a pillar of the, the country and the democracy and the way the government runs. 2000. That was two decades ago, and there was a recount in one state which caused massive chaos. Yes. Is that kind of thing possible again, 2020? Well, I think the fear about 2020 is that it won't be like Florida. It'll be, it'll be a variation of that that's even more complicated. What's the nightmare scenario? The talk of, of rigged elections and fraudulent results means that there are competing slates of electors sent to Congress. Uh, that results in a deadlock where on January 20th, the constitutional end of the current president's term, the Electoral College isn't able to reach a winner. Then what you would have is the chain of succession in the Constitution swears in Nancy Pelosi as president of the United States. And I'm just going to say that if uh, there was a likely scenario for problems in the streets, that would probably be it.